I seen uh, I, um, I believe it was uh, the photon, <laughs> the photon, uh, Ricky, the photon, uh, actually showed where uh, you can use the old V66 uh, controller, and I thought at first that it didn't work because I had tried it, but yes, it does work, but it uh, it's not as accurate though as far as trying to get it to idle up and to take off for some reason like it, it just kind of took off in my room and kind of hit the wall and, and I already had to put a new gear on here you know it's a good thing that I have a bunch of uh, parts for a tarantula because <laughs> I already had stripped out of gear that fast uh, trying to use this controller right here and I'll be honest with you the sticks are a little wider on the V66 controller but not that much wider I mean this is actually a pretty pretty nice controller now that it comes with compared to what it used to come with. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and fly it before my camera dies. And something else that's nice about this now is it has an on and off switch. <clears throat> All right. Go ahead and go out here. Level ground. Yes, and I don't have any landing gear on. I don't have anything on this guy. I just kind of basically pulled out the box, uh, bro um, broke in my motors, and, <laughs> and here we are. All right. But I will tell you that one thing, Quadcopter 101, <laughs> once again, uh, kind of gave a false impression of what is the truth and what's not. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. All right. All right, you got three rates. Yeah, you got three rates, not four rates. Uh, someone said you had four. Now you got three rates with the stock controller. All right. All right, so we're going to be in third rate. Go ahead and take off. All right, so. All right, so this is, this is what I want to show you guys. The fact that the altitude hold works real well. I just put a new motor and a new gear, so I'm going to be kind of easy on it. Matter of fact, I'm going to go into a lower rate. Hardly no wind tonight, too, so really shouldn't be blowing. All right, so as you can see, guys, the altitude hold works extremely well. Uh, but this guy's bomb with this, uh, it does the same thing that the 509G does. And the one thing that the Sima, the new uh, Simas, the X8 and the X5, with the altitude hold, don't do, which I was actually surprised that they don't do it. When you try to come down, this one will kind of fight you a little bit kind of hard to get it to come down and then once you're down it's kind of hard to get it to go back up very similar to the uh, 509G that's somehow Sima got around that somehow because even though their their new quads have altitude hold they fly exactly like they they fly like they always did okay where this one doesn't and I'll tell you what Quadcopter 101 was trying to say that it does, that just as sporty as it ever was, well, you know what? The pitch and roll is about the same, I guess, yeah, I would say, I'd say the pitch and roll is about the same. The attitude hold is fantastic, okay, but the punch out is nowhere near what it, you know, what a tarantula is supposed to be. And... Uh, the yaw though, the yaw, they actually finally fixed the yaw problem though with this. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and, and put it in a higher rate. Because this had not a slow yaw, but 
not a real fast one. Well, now it's got a pretty fast yaw. So you can, you know, you can turn around and get out of trouble real easy. Yeah. Where before you should not be able to do that. But I'll show you what I mean. I'll try to come down. All right. All right. All right. Full punch out, guys. Full punch. <laughs> oh my God. That's full punch out. Okay. Now I'm trying to come down. And I can't get it to come down. And if you hold the stick all the way down for too long, it'll do the same thing that the Simon does. It'll just, uh, it'll unarm and fall out of the sky. So you can't just hold your stick down. You gotta kinda ease it down. Gotta ease it down, it don't come down. So. You know though, I'm kinda looking at, at, at this quad. I kinda like it without the landing gear and without the uh, those lenses, those uh, light lenses and all that stuff. It looks kind of similar to the XK X252 right now in this configuration. It's kind of what it's kind of kind of reminded me of a little bit, but so like I said the forward pitch is the same Okay, the yaw's a little bit, a little better actually, but the punch out is terrible. And and when you try to go up or down, the attitude hold will fight with you. So it's a shame because the attitude hold does work really, really good, guys, as you can see. But that's full punch out. Look, full punch out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean the the Sima X8 has has a uh, has better punch out. <laughs> and I never thought I'd say that that between a tarantula and a Sima X8, the Sima has has better punch out. All right, here we go again. All right, this camera's really get on my nerves to keep sliding down, but all right, here we go. Full punch out. Oh my god, that's terrible, yeah, terrible. And then you, then you can't hardly come back down. You know, unless you're moving, you know. If you're moving, you you know, you can get it to break, you know, come down, but if you're just trying to come down, it's very difficult. Still has that kind of twitchiness about the tarantula. It still has that a little bit. Like I said, though, it's still kind of sporty, though, because it, you know, with the new yaw and the fact that it still has good uh, forward pitch and roll, it's still kind of sporty. It just has no punch out, though, guys. So it kind of reminds me of like the K-Dang K70, basically. A lot of pitch and roll, but not a lot of, uh, oh, and a lot of y'all, but not a lot of punch. And that's wide open punch out, guys. Wide open, that's terrible. <laughs> uh. And it's hard to make it come down. You gotta keep like moving it to get it to come down. Like I said, this tarantula would be good for a beginner. Uh, I think uh, Ricky the Photon, I, I think, said he liked this one better than the regular tarantula. And yeah, maybe, you know, for the guy beginning, you know, starting out, that this would be easier to fly because the altitude hold does work really, really good. It does hold its altitude really good, guys. I mean, really does, you know. You know, one hand, but uh, 
For me though, I like my other tarantula uh, better. I like the ballistic punch out. You know, I like the fact that you know I'm about to hit the ground and I want to, I want to, you know, I need that boost. Well, just don't have it, guys. This just don't have it. So, but I do like this controller though. It's a nice controller, a lot nicer than what they used to give you. And in this particular configuration, I'm kind of digging it. Kind of looks like the XKX252. So uh, yeah, okay, it does still got the flips. I don't do a lot of flips though with these guys. That's a good way to kill your motors on the tarantula. But I just want to show that it does still do its flips. And I, well, there's some pros and there's some cons with this particular one. I like the color. I, I like the black color. Uh, Really like the way it looks. The attitude holds pretty nice. The controller looks really nice. I like this new this new uh, style controller. It's really nice. Uh, cons, uh, no punch out. I mean, like none, zero punch out. Uh, Ricky was talking about, oh, I need to charge my battery so I can get a good punch out. Well, no, you know what? I hate to tell you. Even even with the fully charged battery, it's still the same. <laughs> like zero punch out. Like I said, I think my Sima X8 has has a better punch out. But this definitely has better yaw. That's for sure. Yeah, I've never seen a transfer do funnels like that, guys. <laughs> no. So. So there are some pros, but there are some cons as well. Like right there, the attitude hold made it real easy for me to spin around and find the front and bring it back home. Very twitchy though, still. But this is in, uh, but this is in high race. Full punch out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, they should have, you know, they should have gave you just a little more punch out than that. Oh my god. Alright guys, well, that's it for the night flight. We're going to go ahead and end this. I don't know what the LVC is on this one. So, we're going to go ahead and check it though. And I will uh, I will post that as well. Yeah, you know what? We're going to fly it till it, it blinks. And then when it starts blinking, then we know what the LVC is. And I'll go ahead and I'll test it.
So like I said, the absolute holder is kind of nice in, in, in a way. But this is such a jello maker that, you know, okay, here it is, guys. So go ahead and land it now. A little tricky on the landing, too. Got to just hold it straight down, and it cuts off. All right. But this does have an on-off switch, which is kind of nice that they did finally include one. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. All right. Go ahead and check this battery, too. Just to see. And, yeah, this controller, guys, is actually pretty nice. You know, it looks pretty cool, too. And these uh, buttons feel good, and they all actually do work. I mean, I mean, all in all, for 50, I think this was 50 four dollars or fifty six dollars it was a good deal and and i don't um regret buying this you know so that's good you know it's a good purchase actually even though the punch out kind of is lame there's a couple other things that kind of make up for it so the yaw for one is nice and fast for once all right, I'll go ahead and test this for you guys. Ooh, mm. see that? Ooh, wait, 352, 347. So yeah, okay. So when it goes to blinking, your battery's pretty low, guys. So just you know, keep that in mind. If you could stop before you go into, in you know, before the lights start blinking, if you stop, you'll be better off. Okay, but still that's not gonna hurt it, but you just don't want to do that continuously and right now it is a uh